why can't I eat chia seeds? The Aztecs have been eating them forever and they're a health food. I actually believed that. And about 10 years ago, in fact, I had them in my office. I recommended that my patients use them and I promoted them. And then one day I was on a phone call with the father of the paleo diet, uh, Lauren Cordain, who's a professor at Colorado State University. He wrote and authored the original The Paleo Diet. And we're talking about foods and lectins. He also is a very strong advocate of avoiding lectins. And I told him how great chia seeds were for exactly the reasons that, oh my gosh, you know, the Aztecs and all these runners use them. And he says, don't you read the literature? And I said, you know I do. And he said, well, you missed these two papers. And he actually he says, I'm going to send them to you right now on email. And you read them. And what they found was they wanted to prove that the omega-3 fats in chia seeds were absorbed in humans. And now they're the same omega-3 fat in flax seeds. And so they set up a program where half the people got chia seeds and the other half didn't. And then they measured the omega-3 fat, alpha-linoleic acid, and lo and behold, it did go up. But they wanted to prove that those omega-3 fats actually damped down inflammation. And so as a part of the study, they measured several markers of inflammation, including C-reactive protein, which is a good generalized marker of inflammation. And lo and behold, the people who ate the chia seeds, even their, their omega-3 fats went up, their inflammation markers went up, which to me is confirmation to what Lorraine Cordain had discovered, is that chia seeds are actually an inflammatory food because they have a lectin in them. M Mama chia plant doesn't want you to eat her seeds. Sorry about that. So that's one of the principal reasons why I don't think chia seeds are a good choice for you. Anecdotally, I have several patients with severe reactions to lectins and autoimmune diseases. And when a couple of companies, and I won't mention their name, put chia seeds in their products, which are otherwise really great products, they would call me up and said, I'm reacting to these chips, I'm reacting to this tortilla, and it's the chia seeds. And sure enough, when we had them use the products without the chia seeds, everything else was the same, but they didn't react. So beware of chia seeds. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to visit my website linked in the description box below for more of my best tips. If you haven't already, click the circular channel icon to subscribe and make sure you never miss another video. Because I'm Dr. Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you.